Anyway, I probably didn't leave me bee suit on for this bit, but we're just heading over to check out the Cirrusel circles. I just thought I'd show you this cool little water tank we've got. I used to, I was cutting up pool noodles. I don't know if we've showed that, but anyway, I had all the little pool noodles cut up. And that's a bit of an exercise in madness. And plus they blow away on a windy day, which is a bit of a problem, or bank up in one corner. So I was wandering through Bunnings and I saw this extra size mat. And I thought, well, that could be quite cool. And it even comes with special ways to join it together. So I popped that in me drum and the lasses can fly in there and have a drink without drowning. So that's pretty groovy. So, I don't know, maybe I should hit Bunnings up for a shout out. <laughs> so we thought just before we get started on the next project, we're gonna go and check out and see whether the Cirrusel circles have got themselves organized. Come over here. Give these girls a little puff. Hello, chicky babes. What's going on? Let's have a poke out. We'll just lift this top bit off, first of all. Ooh, secrets, secrets, secrets. Hello, chickies. What have you been up to here? Up here fighting with the blooming ants, ya, you poor things. Let's just we'd we'll have a look at what's going on up here first. Feels pretty good. Look at that. There's a bit of nice citrus honey coming together. Oh my goodness gracious me. You chicks have been very busy. Oop, there goes a beetle, a bugger. Have a bit of a play across here a bit further. Have a look what that's doing. And then we'll get to what we're really here to look at. Far out, eh? I'm going to feel my honey in my cup of tea already. <laughs> right, anyway, that's not why we're here. I've got distracted, folks. Help. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> What's a bit heavy, ladies? <laughs> creepers, creepers. Mr. McGeepers. Help. So we just get rid of our little clips. Pull them up here. Just gonna double check. I think they're gonna, I think we're all good, but it looks pretty good from up here. Let's see if we can't just pull them up without pulling anything apart. Have a look at that lot. Imagine that on your toast of a morning. Oh, that's the sort of crap you could have for a Christmas present, but we might be running a bit late. <laughs> that looks bloody awesome, doesn't it? Very nice, ladies. Very nicely done. Let's just push you across a little bit. That looks like it's pretty near ready to rock and roll. So what we're gonna do, it's just going to pop it back together and then we'll sit it up on its edge and go off and do something else for a minute whilst the girls get excited and run out and leave us with some beautiful circular honeycomb. We well, think there might be a new Bush Bee Man product. Some circular honeycomb. Oh, oh, thank you, Cirrusel boys. You're a bloody couple of champions, aren't you? Mm. Cool. So we just pop their lid back on. We've got the bit that we wanted for it. Oh my goodness gracious, that's heavy. <laughs> Looks like we might be doing some citrus honey extractions. <laughs> What's well, good ladies, you've done very well. There's the other bees of happy fans out there. They've got some lovely honey on their toast. lose everybody. <laughs> Otherwise that'd be a bit bloody annoying, wouldn't it? Tap them and all the things go whoop. Oh, 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 they're pulling out at the top. Yep, end of that. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Anyway, normally you don't have to worry, you just leave them sit there for a minute on their side and the ladies go, where the hell are we? <laughs> so, we've got our little circles back here in the kitchen. This is all good. We've had a little mishap until we had to go online and actually have a bit of a read up on what we're doing. So thank goodness for the um, actual Cirrusel internet little website. So we have some idea, but anyway, we wouldn't believe it, but the Push Bee Man's actually read some directions. So here we go. We're gonna get this. We're gonna, oh, I'm bloody yummy to something. So we're just gonna pop it apart. What did I do with my knife? Hang on, I had a knife here a minute ago. Hold that thought. <laughs> So I reckon we're just going to leave this apart. This little, this little frame that they're in. 
Nice and gentle. Not too excitable, would be good. Let's run away. And I'll turn it over, I reckon. What do you reckon? Like that? I reckon that's the go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Maybe we'll cut, oh shit, don't do that bit. Cut that through there for a start. Since my cutting board's not big enough, we'll get a bit organized, we'll get a bit bigger cutting board. What do you reckon? Yeah, like that, I reckon. We'll do a couple at a time, since we've only got a few anyway. Smells yummy. <laughs> Smells the part. Oh, oh, oh. Yikey, And all the goodness is still in there. Couldn't get much goodness, much more goodness than that, could you? Oh, fresh as. Look at that. Straight from the, straight from the beehive to you without too much messing about. Oh man, eh? We're gonna have to go and get some more of these. Oh, quite cool indeed. Quite cool indeed. Take this edge off. I reckon that's what we'll do. Bit of foundation to spare. Trimming. I think we should get ourselves a proper sharp little knife to do this for real. I wonder what I did. What the hell did I do with that surgery? Those little sharp. They're in the other you, don't they? The ones we cut the queens out with. That's what you want. Some of those sort of yummy, smart little knives. I think we're all trimmed. Now we've got to try and get it in the pot. Look at that. This is kind of cool honey extraction. You don't even get covered in, in blooming sticky stuff. Well, this actually looks pretty bloody good. If I do so for myself. I reckon this is pretty bloody snazzy. <laughs> honey in a honeycomb that hasn't even been Hasn't hardly even been touched by human fingers. <laughs> well, it hasn't, definitely hasn't been spun senseless. But if we get a bit of a good response, we might have to get some more of these. And make some more cool honey like this. It's kind of groovy, really. Oh, there's a little lady with the, in trouble. <laughs> All right, now, what we need is a lid of some sort. There's a little groove there that goes together. We're going to have to go and buy ourselves some cool ass sticky tape or something, aren't we? Some nice coloured sticky tape, because I think that that might get a little bit exciting in the post. <laughs> hey, you reckon? <laughs> well, I'll swim down. making a honeycomb pyramid. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Bloody hell, I'm starting to get a bit of an appetite looking at this yummy honey. I don't know, we haven't got too much to go around, but when we get ourselves a bit of sticky tape and hold the lid on, when and you check out the website, you never know, you might be one of the first people to actually get your hands on some bush bee man honeycomb. And it's not too bloody shabby either, I do say so myself. Mm -mm -mm. That was bloody amazing. Mmm. -hmm. Yum. Am I allowed to double dip? I guess it could be my tray. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, mate. I can get used to that. <laughs> That's good. Thanks to Sarah Cell for giving us a crack at these circle honeycomb pots. It <laughs> turned out I reckon they look bloody amazing. And it's a really cool way to actually get some fresh honeycomb. So, um, yeah, I reckon I'm going to be in touch with the boys and get some more. But at the minute, if you want to flick over to the webpage, you might be one of the few lucky ones that get hold of one of these 20 pots. Because that's all we've got at the minute. 
So be quick.